Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the modern granny stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, and the double crochet decrease. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 3 plus 1. I have already made 22 chains on my hook. To start row 1, make 1 double crochet into the 4th chain from your hook. We're now going to start our sequence. We're going to skip 2 chains and then we're going to make 3 double crochet into the next chain. So we're skipping these two and into this next one we're going to make three double crochet. Same thing, skip two chains, make three double crochet into the next chain. Skip two chains, make three double crochet into the next chain. Skip two chains, make three double crochet into the next chain. Skip two chains, make three double crochet into the next chain. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have three chains left. You're going to skip two like we had been doing and make one double crochet by itself into the last chain to complete this row. And that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make four chains. We're going to skip the first stitch of our row. We're going to be working into the next three stitches. We're going to make a double crochet decrease over the next three stitches. Yarn over your hook one time, insert your hook into the first stitch, grab that yarn, pull it through. You have a loop on your hook now. Yarn over, take that through two loops only on your hook. That's going to be the bottom of a double crochet. So a double crochet decrease is the bottoms of double crochet all together. So we have one and we need three. We need two in each of these next ones. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn, pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, take that through two loops only. That's another bottom of a double crochet. And same thing, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn, pull it through, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, take that through two loops only. Now we have the bottom of three double crochets, so you're going to yarn over and take that through all four loops on your hook to complete that double crochet decrease over three stitches. Now we're going to make two chains and we're going to do the same thing over the next three stitches and you can see how it's matching up with the blocks of three double crochet that we made in our last row. So I'm going to make the same thing over the next three stitches. Now I'm going to make two chains and I'm going to make the same thing over the next three stitches. Two chains. Same thing, make that decrease over the next three stitches. Make two chains. Make that decrease over the next three stitches. Make two chains. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have a stitch and some chains left. Work one double crochet into those last chains at the end of your row to complete row two. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make three chains. We're not going to be working into stitches. We're going to be working into these open spaces for this row. 
So you're going to skip the first stitch into this first chain space. You're going to make one double crochet. Now we're going to get into our sequence for this row. So we know our last row, we made these decreases over a block of three double crochet. Well, we need to establish those three double crochet into this row. So you're going to skip this decrease into this next open space. You're going to make three double crochet. And you're going to start repeating that. Skip this set of stitches into this open space. Make three double crochet. Skip the next set of stitches into the next open space. Make three double crochet. Skip this next set of stitches into this next open space. Three double crochet. Make one chain to skip over this last set of stitches. Into the last open space of this row, make one double crochet by itself to complete this row. And that's how row three is looking. You would now alternate between rows two and three for however long you want your project. And that is going to be how to make the modern granny stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochetmelovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.